Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the plotting of a decaying sinusoid. It is given the signal x of t that looks like e power minus two e power minus t cos of cos of two pi t. So, given the signal x of t equal to e power minus t cos of two pi t, we want to sketch the signal and its envelope in MATLAB. So, for this purpose. First, we will plot uh, x of t versus the time t, and also we will plot y of t equals to e power minus t. That is the envelope. So let us look at the MATLAB code. So in this code, we have the time vector that is being constructed uh, with the starting point and the ending point and the sampling frequency, and then we have the signal itself. So signal has a structure uh, a of t into uh, cos of two pi t or cos of omega t. Here. The phase term is zero. Omega is two pi, and a is also a function of time, which is basically exponential of minus t. So then, thus we construct the signal or generate the signal x of t, and then we plot it against time t. So the next step is to compute the envelope, uh, which is obviously given by e power minus t on the positive side, and on the negative side, uh, it is given by minus of e power minus t, because uh, we are multiplying with a cos function which has both positive and negative values. So that's why the envelope has e power minus t in the positive side and minus of e power minus t on the negative side so we construct all these uh, signals that is the sig uh, actual decaying signal itself x of t and then the uh, envelope that is e power minus t and minus of e power minus t and then we plot them so the blue curve basically represents the e power uh, the decaying sinusoid that is uh, e power minus t into cos of 2 pi t and the red component the red signal uh, the red uh, colored curve basically represents the Envelope that is uh, e power minus t on the positive side and minus of e power minus t on the negative side. So to summarize, in this short video, we have looked at the uh, signal x of t equal to e power minus t into cos of two pi t. That is basically a decaying sinusoid. Uh, that it is decaying because of the e power minus t. And then we also plot the envelope uh, given by y of t equal to e power minus t on the positive side and e power minus of e power minus t on the negative side and for uh, and in the matlab we basically construct this uh, time vector t and then the signal itself x of t which has this uh, amplitude function which is basically a function of time it is e power minus t and the frequency equal to 2 pi and phase equal to 0 and then we get x of t which is the product of a and this cos function uh, here note that we are using uh, vector uh, element by element product rather than normal product so a dot star cos of the omega t plus phase and then we also construct the envelope that is we also construct the envelope that is exponential of minus t and exponential of minus of exponential of minus t and then we plot uh, all these signals and then we plot the signal so we get this we get the decaying sinusoid and its envelope thanks for watching